effective. So which are the ones we use in our clinic? Um, the one that's, you know, probably one of the oldest, the most well-known one is BPC-157. So why is it exciting? Um, it's highly anti-inflammatory and it's the most utilized peptide in the world highly effective and, and is non-toxic. It was actually initially isolated from gastric juice uh, when people were wondering why your gastric, you know, your intestinal tract is not digested from the, the gastric juice. So that they, they found out that there are these peptides that are highly regenerative and improves healing of the gut lining. Um, so it's great for muscles, tendons, and bone healing, great for bowel healing, improves uh, GI mucosal integrity, prevents gastric ulcers. It can protect the liver from toxic insults like alcohol, antibiotics. It can repair teeth, cornea, and the brain. It can induce serotonin release in the brain and has antidepressant effects. It modulates serotonergic and dopaminergic systems so it can relieve behavioral disturbances and is very neuroprotective. It can protect um, you know, the somatosensory neurons, um, peripheral nerve regeneration after you know, transection. Uh, it can help regenerate after TBI, traumatic brain injury, spinal cord compression or, or other type of uh, nerve um, disturbances. And then it can protect against uh, unset related bleeding abnormalities and GI side effects or, or hepatotoxicity, so liver toxicity. It can also protect against insulin overdose and also GI liver and, and, um, and vascular injuries. It actually induces nitric oxide production with strong angiogenic effects, so it helps promote new blood vessel formation. It protects the endothelium of blood vessels, so it counteracts high blood pressure. It also protects against thrombosis, counteracting um, thromb thrombocytopenia and prolonged bleeding time. And it upregulates growth hormone receptor expression in ligaments and tendons and promotes healing. It reduces excessive pain perception and it outperforms acyclovir for herpes infection at 1,000th of the dose of acyclovir. It can be oral and uh, can be also given subcutaneous or intramuscular or even intranasal. And there's no reported toxicity. So there has been a lot of research showing various benefits in conditions like Lyme disease, HIV, you know, other viral infections, inflammatory conditions, and uh, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, GI problems, and uh, tendon, ligament, and muscle repair, peronditis, um, acute pancreatitis, liver lesions, um, chemical sensitivity, allergies, post-surgical healing, uh, mold and toxin exposure, neurodegenerative diseases, depression, anxiety, urinary incontinence. So very exciting. So you can see the wide range, you know, high blood pressure, hypotension, and um, thyroid issues um, can boost mitochondria function. So it's, it's, as you can see, the, the, the range is wide. Um, one thing that's really cool about BPC-157 is that it's, um, it's like a keychain with lots of keys on it. So it has, it can turn on different functions and it has this broad range of benefits that we are able to tap into. And so, you know, it's almost like if you don't know what to do, you know, give BPC-157 is probably going to help because it promotes healing in such a, um, you know, a 